go. Yo, what a do, picking crew. How y'all been? Another what sold video. Sales are still going good. Um, promoted listings are working. Get on it. Get 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 on it. If you're new to the channel, we're a picking family. Uh, we go to yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, flea markets, anywhere we can find cheap stuff and resell it online for profit. We also keep some of the stuff that we like from the 80s and 90s. Um, if you're not if you're not reselling, what are you doing? Get on it, make some money. It's a hustle, it's a grind, but you can make some money doing it. All right, let's get into it. We got 42 items sold in the last week. Back on August 29th, we sold a Garfield Atella 2 Kitties DS game, complete, $8.99. Buyers all in for $12.48. Also on the 29th, we sold a Sony STR-DE485 stereo receiver for $39.99. Buyers all in for $71.43. That was heavy. On the 30th, we sold a Disney Parks exclusive Star Wars R2-D2 mug. It's plastic. We sold, I took an offer for 11 bucks, I think. Buyers all in for $22.57. Another one on the 30th is Star Wars Power of the Force Bantha Tusken Raider Complete from 1999, Kenner from 1998. Sold, took an offer for 60 bucks. Buyers all in for $86.45. I got that for ten dollars at a yard sale. The Disney mug, uh, the Star Wars mug, R two D two mug. I don't. I'm not sure what we paid for it. It's been a while. The Sony digital receiver set for a while. So I finally dropped it down to get it sold. I think the weight held hold that up. Held that up. And the DS game. I got in a lot of DS from the estate sale when we first started. Uh, sold on the 30th a vintage Sears Roebuck six quart automatic electric pressure cooker in gold color. It had the graphics on the top. I had it listed high for a long, long time. I got that at a yard sale for 15 bucks back in one of the first videos. So January, February, sold for I took it off for thirty five bucks to get it gone. Buyers all in for eighty dollars and seventeen cents. Over on Macari on the thirtieth, we sold a Namco Musa Museum Mega Mix Wii game for seven bucks. Also on the 30th, we sold a Miss Pac-Man plug-and-play wireless TV arcade 7-in-1 game. You just plug it right into your TV and play it that way. $24 for that. Then on the 31st on Macari, we sold Hasbro, Hasbro Family Game Night Wii game. Complete in the box for 8 bucks. Back on eBay, my mom sell a vintage enamel cowboy coffee pot, white with dark blue trim. Sold for $39.99, buyers all in for $65.94. She got that at Goodwill, that's where she shops. Um, it was listed for a while in the 40s and I finally dropped it down and it sold. It's, you know, it's a big camping coffee make, coffee pot put on the fire I guess and cook coffee that way I don't know <laughs> um, on the 31st also on the 31st sold a Sony portable CD Walkman compact disc player yellow working got it at a at that mobile home park sale I don't remember what I paid for it no 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 that was from a different yard sale I paid three bucks for it. It sold for twenty nine ninety nine. Buyers all in for thirty seven eighty six. Another one on the thirty first. Disney sing along songs. You can fly. Peter Pan DVD. Sold for four ninety nine. 
Fires all in for 887. Another third on one on the 31st. Pillsbury Doughboy countertop clock with timer. Tested and working. Sold for 15 bucks. Buyers all in for 21.93. We just got that recently at an estate sale. I think Christine paid 10 bucks for that and tins, uh, Pillsbury Doughboy tins and other stuff. On the first, we sold men's Nintendo Wii size double XL pajama bottoms for 15.99. Buyers all in for twenty six fourteen. Another one on the first is a Crucial Ballistics eight gigabyte DDR three sixteen hundred megahertz RAM for desktop computer gaming computer. Sold for fourteen bucks. Buyers all in for nineteen eighty four. Got that at a yard sale with a bunch of other, not a bunch, but some other computer parts for a dollar for the whole box. Sold another. 1990s Linux Village tea canister, Blue House porcelain for $44.99. Buyers all in for $58.69. Sold Boys in the Hood VHS in good condition for $7.99. Buyers all in for $12.40. Another one on the first. Sold I Spy Game Pack. Uh, for the Nintendo Wii, complete in the box, $6.99, buyers all in for $12.97. Then on the second, we sold Sesame Street, Getting Ready to Read and Getting Ready for School VHS. T took an offer for $25. Bucks. We just got that like last week at a yard sale. I think they were a dollar each. Buyers all in for $30.20. Uh, so... Another one on September 2nd, we sold a vintage Crayola Burpin Monster Fun Pencil Sharpener from 2006 for $9.99. We had that for a while. Where did we get that up? The yard sale. Cut it at a yard sale. I think I dropped it down to $9.99. It finally sold. Yeah. Buyers all in for $22.71. Another one on the second, another record. We sold Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. Double LP for $8.99. Buyers all in for $13.23. Not sure where we got that record out. And then another one on the second. We sold a vintage Lisa Frank stamp studio. It was complete, but had some stuff used in it. Uh, took an offer for $35. Bucks. Buyers all in for $47.88. Where did you get that at? State sale. Got that at a state sale. Two bucks. Two bucks. Nice. And then back on the 31st on McCarr, we sold a men's vintage L.L. Bean striped flannel button-down long sleeve t-shirt made in the USA for 17 bucks. I got that a couple weeks ago at a yard sale for a dollar. Next up on McCarr, this one sold on the 3rd, is Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Dancing sing Singing Baby Groot 11 inch figure. I think I took the better though. I did. But he sings and dances. Took it off for 15 bucks. For him, he's cool. And then. On the 4th on Makari, we sold Disney Princess Enchanted Journey for Nintendo Wii. It's got the box, but no manual in there. Uh, sold for five bucks. I think on maybe Thursday I will have a video, a picking video out with that in it. I got a bunch of Wii games and stuff. Then we sold a vintage Garfield. Uh, what's it, Danken? Danken 1981 United Feature Syndicate plush. For eleven bucks, where did we get that up? Uh, yard sale. Yard sale, probably a dollar. Yep. Those are the old ladies. Where we get the records? Yeah. Yep. Then we sold a Diana Ross. This is from the same lady. Diana Ross sealed pieces of soul pieces of ice, nineteen eighty three, uh, sold disco electronic uh, record, fifteen bucks there on Macari on the fifth. And then on the 
fifth also we sold Hasbro Marvel Hulk Avengers All-Star Action Figure 6 inch from 2013 for 12 bucks. Where'd we get that at? Do you know? Yard sale. Another yard sale mm -hmm. fine. And then this one is a surprisingly fast sale. <laughs> what is just it? got it. We just got this yesterday morning. Sunday morning. No, Monday morning. And it sold Monday night last night. I had it listed for 15, guy for 12. I took it. It's a 1990 Ertl Chevrolet Beretta promo model. Just a model. They sell fast for some reason. Sold for 12 bucks. All right, on the third, we sold a vintage plush Kermit the Frog, Jim Henson Muffet doll from 1976 for $54.99. Buyers all in for $72.99. I think that's going to Canada. Where did we get that? Estate sale. Got that at estate sale. Also on the third, we sold a Kid Power Nirvana plush 14 inch talking Franklin the Turtle stuffed toy. Tested and working for 20 bucks. Buyers all in for $33.89. Another one on the third, we sold a vintage Aussie My Child doll, hazel eyes, blonde hair, jointed for $35. Got the moving, got the movements. Buyers all in for $53.99. It's going to California. Took a $50 offer on Corel My Garden lot of five. <laughs> Ten and a quarter inch dinner plates, six seven inch dessert plates, and six nine inch salad plates. This is the pattern. There. Buyers all in for seventy one forty two on that. Your mom got those at Goodwill. Oh, those are good. My mom's deal. Goodwill buy. Sold a McFarland Larry Fitzgerald loose figure for five bucks. Took an offer for five bucks. He's missing a face mask. So I'll just get it going. I think this is, a lot. is that the last one? Mm -hmm. That is the last one of him, of the McFarlands. Buyers all in for $11.43. Sold a Sega Genesis first edition high def graphics console for parts or repair. I got the power on, but the video would not go through. Sold it for $39.99. Buyers all in for $58.12. So the size large Jeep graphic t-shirt says I uh, still stomping mud puddles for $14.99. You got that at a thrift store for $1.99 or something like that. So pretty quick, couple couple weeks. Or a week, maybe? Maybe just a week. See the last ones there, the ones that before, yeah. right? So Goodwill was having 50% off, and I got a Sony SLV-D380P DVD VHS combo, it was $24.99. I listed it for $69.99, got an offer within 30 minutes for $61, and I took it. Um, Hopefully I didn't price it too low. Either way, it was like 12 something. It's sold and gone. Paid for a whole day of picking that day. This is recently. It was a uh, Friday or no Monday. Monday. It was yesterday. So that works. Also sold another DVD VCR combo that I've had listed for a long time. A Panasonic Model PV D D4744 S. I took an offer of 28 just to get it moved. We've had this forever. I don't even know what I paid for it or where I got it. It's been sitting back there for a long time. Sold a vintage 1975 to 1981 illustrated wildlife treasury cards with case hmm. for $29.99. We've had this forever. Had this one forever. It's, I don't know if you remember, I, we had them in school, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, back in school. You could look up everything. All the, which one is this? Reptiles and 
birds, reptiles, amphibians, and some kind of bugs, I think. Pretty cool stuff. Took Five a while. Dollars. Five bucks and uh, $29.99. Sort of vintage hair barrette clip, gold with rhin black rhinestones, gold rhinestones, black crystal, made in France with a D signed into it. Took an offer for six bucks. I bought this and two other ones for three dollars total. Or the other ones were uh, brooches, but it was like three bucks total. I think I sold the other two for $19.99 and then that one for six. Sold something I never thought I was gonna sell. Welcome in Club Med Caribbean Sea <laughs> Vintage Map Linen Yellow, 66 inches by 36.5. Paid a quarter. Paid a quarter. It sold for 24.99. Buyers all in for 32 bucks. It's upside down. Oops. So like, a, I guess you'd put it on your table, or you could hang it. It's got the Caribbean map of the Caribbean. Quarter into twenty four ninety nine. I'll take that all day, every day. Yeah. I think that's it. Did I do all the Macaris? Yeah. We sports. Where's that at? Where did I miss that at? Oh, yep. We sports resort, two thousand nine. Complete in the box. Case manual tested. Twenty four ninety nine. That is it. Let us know how y'all sales have been. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Join the picking crew. We'd love to have you. See you on the next one.